episode, um, I would be sharing that is something personal to me in a way because we are now going to talk about books that you must read or I really don't know actually what title to put in this blog. I would be basing my opinions in every book like how I felt while I was reading it and what are the things that I've learn from the book so these are actually six books but I don't have the other one with me because I think I left it at the car which is not here because gamit ng mom ko. just a little disclaimer before we begin this vlog I'm not a professional when it comes to books so I would be just basing everything into my personal opinion because I think we have different kinds of um, opinions when it comes to books. I might felt this kind of way with this book but you didn't feel that way. So ayun, we have different kinds of um, opinions and feelings with every book so um, there. I would be showing you like the actual book here because I have them with me but I would be posting the pictures here just so you could see clearly and now let's begin okay for the first book this is Almost Adulting by Arden Rose so when I first bought this book I think I was around 18 years old and I remember nasa national bookstore ako and then I was just randomly browsing sa book section sa national bookstore and then I found this one which is um at first sight it was really um eye catching because of the cover like ang cute niya kasi parang doodle something so basically this is a book about the things um, that you would experience in adult adulthood and some of here I mean mostly super relatable siya. what interested me in this book kasi the title is almost adulting so I was 18 years old that time, so I think this book is a must-read for me at that age. This is actually a good book for young adults out there. If you think that you are entering the adulthood, I think this is a good um, pick for you, but I'm not so sure if this is still available in national bookstore but you could check it out I couldn't really like explain more because as I am saying um, we have different kinds of um, preferences when it comes to reading a book but I must say this is a must read and to all the young adults out there you should read this book and then for my next one this is slightly thriller or it has a little jump scares in some chapters. Just a trivia. I do not I'm not really a fan of horror films, horror movies or anything because I tend to not sleep properly like I have this experience now I think I was in the age of 15 or 16 then kami nung mga friends ko mga kapitbahay ko that time we were watching this Thai horror film this is in the title of Shutter I still remember that one kasi 
I remember when we finished the whole film for a month I haven't gotten to sleep properly kasi nga my god sobrang galing ng Thai people na gumawa ng horror films even the Japanese um, horror movies grabe hindi ko talaga kaya hindi <laughs> ko kaya kaya so ayun I'm not really a fan of horror films but I'm interested with books that are um meron slightly jump scares or horror something so this is um Miyuki Miyabe this is in the title of The Devil's Whisper I got this in a bookstore um this is the name Biblio I would put the link below if they have um, a website. What I really like about this book is that every chapter is very interesting and super mysterious. So you just want to keep going and going until ma, ma finish mo na yung whole book. And you just really want to know who is the devil's whisperer. I don't really want to spoil you who is it. Pero this is a good book to read. All the people out there who is not a fan of horror films, I, I think you should read this one. Hindi naman siya ganun nakakatakot to the point na you won't be able to sleep at night. Hindi siya ganun. Actually, um, when I was reading this book before, there were times na hindi ko na napapansin yung oras kasi sobrang mysterious ng book na to. Like, I just wanna know, sino ba yung Devil's Whisperer? Sino ba yung Devil's Whisperer? So, yun. This is a good book. So, next is this next book is actually different from the first two that I've shown you. And I think I really need this in life since I'm not that young anymore. And <laughs> Actually, yung taste ko kasi sa book nag -iba, and I actually noticed that one. As you grow old, your preference with books um, changes. So, ito na yung... When I got this book, I was in the stage of maturity. <laughs> if that's how you call that. Pero ayun, this is actually parang... Um, a motivational book for me. This is the You Are a Badass How to Stop Doubting Your Greatness and Start Living an Awesome Life by Jed Sincero. I really, really love this book and I got this book and then this was actually a gift from a friend. Uh oh, this is a gift from a friend really helped me to be more positive in life because there were times that I'm really doubting myself and I think that I'm not doing great in life which is not good because it gives you that negative energy that we don't really need in life and this is actually good like can you pang ang sasabi ng good pero good kasi to like a good read I actually highlighted a lot of parts in the book na gusto kong balikan if there were times na I need motivation. Ayun, babalikan ko lang. The author, um, Jen Sincero, actually wanted us to see a different perspective in life. Like, there are really things that we need to accept in life in order for us to progress. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Ayun. I would say a few lines that really hit me in the spot. We'll go with the chapter 20 which is Fear is for Suckers. I would read it for you. Face your fears with the truth that they are all in your mind and they will lose their power over you. So this is actually the chapter that 
I've been reading every time that I fear something in life because we're not that perfect so there would be times na you would really feel down and you will lose all the motivation that you have so ayun, this is um, very helpful to me because I just like how the author shares her personal experiences and what are the things that she learned from those things which is I think very helpful for me and I think for us if you would read this book. In in this book kasi, um, the author would like to tell you that there are things that aminado kang hindi mo kayang baguhin pero you need to in order to have that great life and you'll just basically understand yourself even more by this book in this book she would tell if not her personal experiences um maybe her friends or her acquaintances that she's met and what are the things that she learned from that from those experiences which is um i think helpful for me at this moment i really love something that would lift me up something that would motivate me and there i just really love having this and this is something that I would read over and over again. I'm actually reading it again. And this is a must read. I tell you, you must read this book. I couldn't really go further like how I felt reading this, but this is actually helpful. That's the only thing that I could say with this book that this is super duper 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 helpful for the next book this is actually um another motivational book that i have and this is the 13 things mentally strong people don't do this is um another motivational book i got really interested in this book because these are things that mentally strong people don't do because let us admit that there are actually times there are moments that we just don't feel like we're doing our best in life and we sometimes think na ano bang purpose ko ano ba diba so this is a good book to read. I have also highlighted some parts in this book that I want to look back every time that I need motivation. It has some parts here that would really explain a certain topic and then the author would help you to um, have a wider um have a wider understanding at that specific topic which is actually good and then like after she introduces this topic and after she explains it furthermore she would now give um she would now give advices to you like how would you take this how would you not do these things she also put that one like what are the things that you need to um, avoid what are the things that you must not do it's also here and it will also tell you like what are the what are the things that most people think na negative like you would really say na okay o nga sinasabi ko tong mga bagay na to sa akin so she would help you like to change those negative thoughts to positive thoughts 
this would basically um, help you to be tough and to avoid all those bad mental habits that um, all along you've been doing in life which would lead you to which would lead you to a happy happy life um, at some point I'm not saying that this book would completely completely make you um, mentally strong um, but it depends on the person who would read this book like how would you take this how would the how would you take the words that she said here? How would you apply it to your life? There. So this is the fifth book, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, this is. So this is the fifth book that I would be showing you, and this is another fictional novel by John Green. This is the Turtles All the Way Down. I am actually a fan of everything that is written by John Green because I remember the first novel that I read by him is The the Fault in Our Stars and I'm probably sure that a lot of you have watched the movie and some have read the book but I really love the book better than the movie because iba talaga kapag nasa book eh. Iba yung... How would I say this? I think iba kasi yung pag-run ng imagination when it comes to reading a book than actually seeing it in a movie. I think the film that is actually the director's point of view of the book by John Green na. So, hindi na siya yung Hindi na siya yun yung personal perspective mo ng book. I don't know if you get what I mean, pero ayun, super different pa rin pag nagbabasa ka ng libro. So, this book is actually based on John Green's mental health. He actually puts himself in the book in a way, kasi yung main character dito, meron siyang anxiety and OCD um, disorder, if I'm not mistaken. John Green wants us, the readers, to have a have an insight of what really happens into a mind of Aza, who's suffering from anxiety and OCD. And just to basically have a deeper understanding with that one and the book also taught me that not all stories has a cliche happy ending so there this is actually a read a good read as well so I guess you should get this copy if they still have it on bookstores you must read this book. So for the last book that I would be talking about, it's not here with me but I would be posting a picture still here just so you could see it. So that is the Norwegian Wood. I think I have um, showed this book into my last vlog. If you haven't seen that one, I would put the link here. And also on the description box below just so you could watch the vlog. I'm not yet actually finished with the book but I will tell you a few things from that book. So the book um, tackles a few things such as um, the feeling of grief or loss and also depression. Like I think I've noticed that mostly of the characters there are feeling are currently experiencing depression and like how they just um, see their life how 
how do they fight with this battle of depression and what are the things that they do in order to escape from being depressed and what I liked about this book also is that the way the author makes you feel like you're really in the actual setting of the book like how he describes every words sometimes the words are not really you know the usual words na nahahanap pa sa dictionary minsan yung words dun gawa gawa niya lang but it actually um, makes sense at some point but I really like how he twists up a little words just for you to actually feel what he feels in that moment so there i just really love how he makes the readers um interested in every uh in every pages of the book so i would give you an update if i already finished the book but so far i'm really loving the book there are just some moments in the book na very intense yung mga nangyayari and i think you know what i mean but there i am actually planning to get another book i hope so hindi pa kasi ako nakakapunta sa fully booker in any bookstore kasi nga the current place that I'm living at the moment is far from malls kasi parang ako nasa probinsya para kami nasa bundok so ayun, nakakatamad din kasi minsan lumabas but I'm actually planning to read this book because I was actually listening to a podcast of Joy Spring and she mentioned that book is actually a good read and a must read and I'm also interested kasi ang bilis niyang mag sold out sa fully book like there was a time that I have this money already and I'm I'm already ready to purchase the book online. Tapos bigla siyang sold out. So, parang nag sold out siya for a month. Imagine, for a month. Hindi lang nga at a month eh. Parang one month and a week. Ganun siya katagal na wala. And then, nag-email yung fully book sa akin na they're on stock again. So, hopefully, bago matapos yung month, nakuha ko na yung book and sana mabasa ko na siya bago mag start yung semester namin kasi kapag nag start na naman yung semester namin wala na akong time sa lahat like super hati na yung time ko kapag nag start na yung semester but yeah so I'm ending the vlog here and I hope that you like this video to those who are not really interested with books or not the book where I'm, I'm really sorry if I made this video boring but this is my channel so I can do whatever that I want so anyway thank you for watching this video um if you have any suggestions or anything that you want me to do for my next vlog comment down below and let me know what are the books that you have read or what are the books that you want me to read anything that you recommend me to read um just comment down below and i would love to see your comments and i would love to know what are the books that you love so there um thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, subscribe now. And, <laughs> and don't forget to click the bell button below so you get notified every time that I post a new video. So thank you for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!